I've traveled way south of the border into the heart of the Mexican tropics to do something that's potentially a lot more dangerous than you might think. And here I am in the lowland tropics of southern Mexico, uh, Puebla State to be exact, where I've come with my friend Mark, who's a professor of botany at uh, the University of Mexico City, and a few of his colleagues to collect and document a what, what they think of is a new species of ponytail palm. My friend Mark, by the way, is the consummate biologist. He does cutting-edge botanical research, he travels the world and lectures in multiple languages, and he collects plants in some truly exotic places, many of which are quite dangerous. He's kind of the Indiana Jones of botany. His grad student, Vanessa Rojas, is a ponytail palm expert and professional tango dancer. No kidding. And here's the study site, a very steep hill covered in very thorny vegetation. Now, I like to think I'm in pretty good shape, but this, my friends, is definitely no walk in the park. Well, they say getting there is half the battle. I'd say this is more like three quarters. Mark and Vanessa, however, are bounding ahead of me and pausing for refreshments while I am trying to figure out how to get around a few obstacles. Here's one of them. Not too friendly looking, is it? Spiny agaves all over the hills. Uh, the hills are built with some sort of loose shale. It feels like it's going to fall apart under my feet constantly. We're going up about a 60 degree grade. There's ants all over the trees. This is biology. Seems effortless for Vanessa. Must be all the tango. And she's located her target in all of its ponytail palm glory. They're kind of spindly and pom pom y at the top and very thick at the base. And as you can see from the bark, their other nickname is the elephant's foot tree. And while Vanessa is taking a few more measurements, I'm taking in the sights. It is really pretty up here. Not too bad, huh? Just remember though, this is the tropics, and it is getting hot. Fortunately, ponytail palms don't want to kill you, and neither do these very pretty cousins of the pineapple. Tillandsias are all over the trees here. And while Hawaii has made the beautiful plumerias famous, they are in fact native to southern and central Mexico. Bet you didn't know that. As if going up the hill was hard enough, coming down is not any easier, especially with a backpack full of samples. Years of tango dancing is not helping here. Well, that worked out pretty well, and I'm still alive. So while we're here, we decided to go on yet another dangerous mission, not too far away. Okay, now we're gonna go see if we can find some cycads, which I've never seen in nature before, so this will be a treat for me. Here we go. And while I pause to breathe heavily, Mark describes yet more ferocious and conniving plants of the Mexican tropics. I believe a pattern is emerging. Everything here is some variation on thorny, spiny, sharp, poisonous, and generally dangerous. It is definitely not for the weak of heart. Here's one that I unintentionally grabbed earlier. It's called Mala Mujer, the evil woman. And looking at those spines, you can tell why the woman she is so evil so so the spines stick in you like they did in my arm and burn like the fire for about oh half an hour or so and then it comes down to just sort of a slow ache all around unpleasant Mala mujer. here's another one that doesn't want to kill you this is a beautiful copal tree with interesting peely bark cool huh so while we've been able to stumble upon all manner of cool plants, both dangerous and otherwise, we simply haven't been able to find that one other species that we're looking for. Well, as far as uh, finding our ponytail palm, mission accomplished. As far as finding the cycads, mission not so accomplished. We're pretty tired, pretty thirsty. Uh, we got a few hours drive ahead of us, so we're out of here. That's biology. But wait, what could it be? Yay. I found some cycads. Yeah. 
Mission accomplished. What's that? Mission accomplished. So we we found our hidden cycad. Show enough. There it is. Ain't she beauty? They are beautiful. <laughs> so uh, here it is. Pretty nice. This is my first time seeing a cycad in nature. So uh, great for me. <laughs> So there it is, in all its prehistoric looking coolness. Cycads are uncommon in general, and in this area, they're extremely rare. So this, for me, was a serious treat. In fact, all of this is a treat. Everything from the pretty Talansias to the elegant plumerias, to the spiny cactuses, agaves, and acacias, and of course, the elusive yet very interesting ponytail palms. I can do without the mellow mujeres, though. There's one more type of botanical sampling that Mark and Vanessa insist I do, the local cactus fruit. It is indeed delicious, and not at all dangerous. Now I can't really recommend scrambling around in a tropical spine forest, but I do suggest this. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, adios mis amigos.